Hey guys, what's up? Spectre here, and I thought we could check in on one of the most anticipated games of all time, Cyberpunk 2077. I've scoured the internet for some interesting bits of news, so let's jump in. CD Projekt recently released a short survey asking fans to help them design their new shop, where they'll be selling merchandise themed after their games, such as collectibles. The survey itself asked about fan shopping habits, what you might like to see in the store, and some other interesting questions, and if you'd like to participate for yourself, I put a link in the description, so get to it while it's still active. Next, a tweet from Turkish publisher Bilcom states that the game will be released in 2019, yet CD Projekt has stated that while that release window has been hinted at, it hasn't been confirmed. However, they were quick to have the tweet removed, so make of that what you will. Now, multiplayer in Cyberpunk 2077 is something that's been thrown around, and of course, the game is being billed as a deep, single-player RPG, and CD Projekt Red has stated that various times. However, PC Gamer reported not too long ago that CD Projekt has teamed up with Digital Scapes, a studio known to handle AAA PvP multiplayer, even working on the beloved title Dying Light. Looking back as far as 2013, director Adam Badowski stated in an interview with Eurogamer that it will be a story-based RPG experience with amazing single-player playthroughs, but they're going to add multiplayer features. It may be safe to anticipate some form of multiplayer after the base game has been released. If that scares you though, fear not, as CD Projekt has stood adamantly against things like microtransactions and loot boxes, going as far as to say, when thinking CP 2077, think nothing less than The Witcher 3. Huge single player, open world, story driven RPG. No hidden catch, you get what you pay for. No bullshit, just honest gaming, like with Wild Hunt, we leave greed to others. Red Dead Redemption 2 is arguably the biggest game of the year, both in terms of spectacle and technological scale. Apparently, CD Projekt has taken notice. In a recent financial call, CD Projekt CEO was asked about what they've learned from their competitor's impressive launch. He stated, We strive to publish games which are as refined as Red Dead Redemption 2, and recent Red Star releases in general. That game is excellent, by the way, and we're rooting for it. Rave reviews, excellent sales. What does that teach us? Well, it teaches us that we need to publish extraordinary games, and that's exactly what we're planning. Gamers, it seems, tend to focus more on hit releases. There's only so much time one can devote to video games, and while their gaming community is growing, time cannot be stretched. In short, CD Projekt has taken notice, and they see that with such large games being released, they cannot simply release something half-baked, but something that will captivate players' time, attention, and hard-earned cash. The CEO also reiterated that the game is currently playable from beginning to end, but lacks widespread polish to the extent that we saw in the vertical slice shown at E3. We can assume they've been working to polish up the game since then. And that's it for this Cyberpunk 2077 news update. If you want more Cyberpunk 2077 news, lore, and more, make sure to let me know by dropping a like, and make sure to check out my extensive lore videos for more Cyberpunk goodness. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.